On a guess, lend me your ears. Long has our Febramon suffered without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for naught. At last, the bell has tolled on the age of the Consul. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. The return of the Sovereign. <laughs> My word, such an inspiring visage. Your Majesty shall have my eternal yeah, fealty. No Your Majesty, oh how long I have awaited this moment. Behold, before you sits the rightful inheritor of the Draken throne, chosen by the dragon as its enemy. Behold a rejoice! Fortune has delivered us our savior at last! At last! Praise be, for only the Sovereign's guidance can lead us true. All hail the Sovereign! All hail! Let all present Pledge your allegiance to the Sovereign. Let us be united in the hope that our legions reign will near end. Long live the Sovereign of Vermont! Long live the Sovereign! Arisen, thou who wouldst slay the dragon, if thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy reason. Cast aside thine heart and thy life, both. I ask thee to demonstrate thy will, for naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate. Now, which one of you was it? No need to be shy. I've just got to take down a record of your name and face. Come on, step forward. Is it you? No? Hmm, it is hard to say. The pawn I'm looking for doesn't come forward soon. Are you the one, then? Speak up, you good-for-nothing pawns. Which of you is it? Aha. Uh -huh. I thought I recognized you. I ill like that look in your eyes. Tis queerly brazen for a pawn. 
Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural, seeing as how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry not, vessel. Three days here, and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Come along, you feckless dullards. What do you think you're up to, layabout? Get a move on! Do your injuries pain you? Pray, do not overexert yourself. This is no place for one of your ilk. Tis harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. You ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed to the site. Time for you to get to work. Can't work as late as I used to, Rink. You are prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. vicinity is quite cluttered. Pray leap o'er aught that poses a hindrance. My patience wears a little. A job well done. Now the next step is to. Are you unharmed? You ought to flee while you can. After all, your charge awaits you. You cannot linger in this place forever. You have lost your memories. It is surely the work of a foul curse, but worry not. You need only believe in your own destiny, Arisa. This way, let us flee. You must jump. That is the only path forward. Uh, 
No one could survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn. Don't just stand there! Shoot it down! It's getting away! Bring it down! Bring it down! Go now, lost soul. And learn all you can of this world you must protect. Keep your distance, Arisen! Worry not for me. The brine may swallow me whole, but I will not perish. There is a stone not far from here, known as a rift stone. Pray, seek it out. If you're truly the Arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. Oi! Are you all right? What happened here? A griffin appears one moment and falls the next. And now you stand before me. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back? It is a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. Where exactly is this jail you say you escaped from, anyway? I've never heard of such a place. There's certainly naught like that here in Vermont. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of Batal? Nay, I suppose that's unlikely. We've been estranged from Batal ever since the war. 
It is difficult to imagine any citizen of Vermont being sent there. Fine! Goblins! Let's take up your weapon, sir. You'll be needing it. Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. If you find your strength flat, then buy the curative or have a bit of green wine. When one of the fiends comes, best guard or dodge, else you'll be sore on the morrow. Make use of the slope. It will give you an advantage against their ranks. Employ guarded attacks to get the enemy to flinch. Grander attacks are more destructive, but will leave you vulnerable. So seize your chance to land one the moment the end. There are oft items to be scavenged from the bodies of monsters and their ilk. If you're not squeamish about picking at their bones, that is. Have you beheld the dragon as yet? I've not, and I count that a blessing. All I know for sure is that it is a beast e'er more fearsome than a griffin. One need only look to the miserable state of the village of Mel to see that. We can but hope that the Sovereign will rid us of its airline. No mean things, to be sure. But that's the sovereign's duty, isn't it? When the dragon rears its ugly head, the sovereign appears among the people who so scorn to I dare say Vernon owes much of his prosperity to the sovereigns who have served it over time. Personally, I'm just glad to know we've got someone looking out for us. <laughs> Seen fortune smile on you this day, sir. You might have fallen in the water back there. Where do you think you're going? You can't just run off. Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. What is this? The pawns? They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Before you stands a rift stone. Tis a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross o'er into this world. Pray, summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you.
The people here are evacuated and safe. The people here are evacuated and safe. For the moment. This world is connected to innumerable other realms beyond the rift, which pawns such as myself are able to traverse. My kind is duty-bound to serve you, Arisen, and to use the knowledge we glean in these distant worlds to your benefit. I myself look forward to traveling alongside you and using my experiences beyond the rift to enrich your adventures. Well, I'll be. A pawn summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fine. This is all beyond my ken. The Watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. What? You've no memories, you say? Mayhap you could make for Melv, then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. Hail, Arisen. Pray, ask aught you wish to know. I shall answer, if tis within my power to do so. Tis the name given to fates chosen, those destined to command the Pawn Legion and safeguard the world from the threat of the dragon. Even with your memories lost to you, I am afraid you cannot escape your fate. Nomads, we are oft called. Born in other worlds, we travel here by means of the rift stones that we might aid you, Arisen. However, I cannot speak as to our true nature, for I know of it not. None of us do. We do not need to. We merely do as we are commanded. Riftstones are gates that connect this world to a multitude of others. By their power have we crossed into this world. And when our mission is done, by their power shall we return to our own. Very well. May fortune speed you on your way, Arisen.
You seem well tired. Tell you what, you can stay here tonight free of charge. I'll expect coin from tomorrow, mind. My pa always used to say, there's naught a good night's sleep can't fix. Not much else I can offer, I'm afraid, but you'll find all sorts at a finer inn. Aye, being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. Still, it is worth devoting yourself to a vocation if you can. Opens up new doors, it does. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer it. They've much more to offer. I have no issue falling asleep, even at this time of day. What must needs be done? Now there's a worthy prize, if only it weren't so far away. Should your pack grow over full, have no fear. I'll lighten your load by spreading it out among us pawns. Let us work together to honor the Arisen's trust. Portion would be wise, but we ought not let him put us in our course. The enemy gained the upper hand. The early Griffin gets the word, as they say. A battle avoided is a battle won, I suppose. Little does our foe realize how narrowly they escaped death's touch. I suppose it's so.
compares to the thrill of victory, one cannot help but feel indomitable. No doubt, this triumph will spur us into the next. You've forgotten something arisen? You're looking rather lost. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat's thrills to gathering items. I am confident and may act independently. Where to next, Arisen? I'm not sure I have any idea. Behold the state of the village. It is a sorry sight indeed. The dragon truly is calamity incarnate. Mayhap a walk through the streets would help jog your memory. I've an act for combining materials that I hope you'll find useful. I'll craft aught I can using what's in my pack. paths fork in the end there's no sense in lamenting it alas we must part ways for the time being but know that I look forward to traveling with you again in future
I've a selection of wares that's sure to please. Pleasure doing business with you. 